Hi Scorpio, welcome to your reading. The first card out, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So it seems like luck and destiny are on your side. I'm so excited for you guys. I'm excited too because I'm a Scorpio. The next card, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Very exciting. So a new beginning. It might be a um, career because it's pentacles, but then we have the lovers right next to it. So it could also be a commitment in love. And the lovers could be a Gemini you're dealing with, but definitely a very strong soul connection here. Possibly a soulmate. Wow. <laughs> you guys are getting all the good cards. So um, right after that, we have the Empress. So could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, but you are embodying the energy of the Empress this next month or so. You are knowing your worth, you're feeling empowered, and people are noticing. People are attracted to you. That self-worth is always really attractive, right? The most attractive people in the room are the ones that have the most self-love and who know their worth. So with the lovers here, you might also be making a final decision on a lover. If you're dealing with two different people, you might finally find out who it is that you want to commit to. Because um, we do have the four of wands here, so that could signify a major commitment. could also be marriage. And also with the Ace of Pentacles too, so, really powerful stuff. I'm very excited for you guys. Um, four of Wands, so it could be a twin flame. And with the lovers as well. Very powerful cards. Um, so, Wands, meaning fire energy, could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sag. And we have the star card, so it could be dealing with an Aquarius. But this um, signifies... You know, this is something that you guys have been wishing or manifesting for a long time. I see that here. You've been working on yourself. You've been healing. You've been trying to be good all on your own without needing anyone else so that you could be the best lover or soulmate that you could. So you could attract possibly your twin flame in for union here with the four of wands. All right, let's see what else comes out for you guys. Okay, Four of Cups, so this could be uh, someone from your past returning, and uh, at first you might give them the cold shoulder, or you're feeling apathetic, like you missed an opportunity, or if it is a choice between two different people, this is how you feel towards uh, one of the choices in love that you have, or you could feel like you missed an opportunity with them okay seven of swords came up so yeah this could be someone who hurt you in the past they lied to you they deceived you um it's not always completely negative sometimes it can mean they really cared a lot for you or thought very highly of you but they didn't really tell you that they weren't clear honest or straightforward with you see what else comes out okay king of cups so that's a water sign could be dealing with a fellow scorpio or a pisces or a cancer but yeah i'm seeing definitely this person was hiding how they truly felt for you they had emotions for you but they were not honest about it yeah they may have treated you like an option or they may have just been confused about what they wanted. They may have had other options. What else for Scorpio, please, Spirit? Two more cards. Okay, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this wanted to come out earlier. So they left you feeling left out in the cold or you left them feeling left out in the cold. Uh, 
Possibly because they had someone else or they were dealing with someone else with the Seven of Cups here. But man, we started out with like the most amazing cards in the deck and now it's getting really negative. I, I gotta clarify to receive more information, but. All right, one more card, Spirit, please, for Scorpios. One more card, please. One more card, please, for Scorpio. Okay, King of Wands. So it could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Uh, we do have two kings here. So like I said earlier with the Lovers card, you could be making a choice about two different lovers here. One that's more fiery or passionate, and one that you have more emotional bond with. So that's up to you guys to decide or figure out who that is. I'm not sure your story. I'm sure it's different for everyone, but all right, I'm gonna start clarifying here. Please, Spirit, if we can clarify these cards. Let's start with the Wheel of Fortune. This is for Scorpios, please. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for my Scorpios? There is luck or destiny involved here. Also, divine timing, possibly. What is this about here, the Wheel of Fortune? Queen of Wands. Okay, so it might be uh, some advice from Spirit to embody the Queen of Wands energy. Uh, she is someone powerful who knows her worth. She's fiery, feisty, very attractive. She's a go-getter. She goes after what she wants. Okay, why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Okay, this could also be another woman because we have the Three of Cups with the Two of Wands and the Page of Cups. So if this is you needing to make a choice between two different lovers of who you want to offer your cup of love to or commit to more seriously, or this could be someone who feels this way about you, maybe they have someone else that they need to get rid of a third party in order to come forward and be more serious with you. Okay, why is the Lover's card here, please, Spirit? Why is the Lover's card here? So, Two of Pentacles. Yeah, definitely a decision in love someone needs to make. And I see that you are the more valuable option because you have more self-worth. I mean, no offense to the other person, but you know, you're doing a little bit better in your life, whether that's with like valuing who you are, or taking care of yourself here with the Empress card. All right, why is the Empress here, please Spirit? Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here? That Lover's card again, wow. So you also might be um, more spiritually bonded with this person. You guys have more of a soul connection here. Why is the Four of Wands here, please, for my Scorpios? Why is the Four of Wands here? Okay, Eight of Swords. So I'm feeling like this person wants to come forward and commit to you, but they're feeling trapped, like they can't for whatever reason. Even though that's not true at all, they could easily, you know, um, come towards you in reality. But they must be going through something right now that they're just unable to come forward towards you. So next up we have the Emperor. Um, so this person is trying to take control and manifest you here with the Star card. Why do we have the Four of Cups here, Spirit? Why do we have the Four of Cups here? Ten of Swords. Okay, yeah, definitely this person in the past has betrayed you, lied to you, hurt you, uh, left you, possibly stabbed you in the back. But with the Ten being the ending, we see that this is the ending of a cycle. So it's gotten as bad as it's going to get, and they no longer want to hurt you anymore. We have the Nine of Pentacles coming up next, so 
possibly you becoming single is what drove this person to realize that they wanted to stop hurting you, you realizing your self-worth, you realizing that you're good on your own, you don't need anyone else, and you know, you having that self-love and taking care of yourself really woke this person up to realize that, you know, they have been deceiving you, they have been lying to you, they have been hurting you, and they can't do that anymore if they're going to be with you. They have to make a decision, right? We have the Two of Swords coming up next. They're gonna have to, they're at the crossroads, right? If they want to come towards you, they're gonna have to come with emotion, show their emotions. But they're conflicted about that. They have a lot of, they're fighting themselves on it. They don't know that they want to come towards you. Not because of you, anything to do with you. They see you as the star. They're, they want to come towards you with passion, with a new passionate start, but they know that they left you in the dust in the past and it's hurt you. And you're not going to just jump back into this right away. All right, why is the King of Wands here? King of Swords, we have another king. We have three kings here so far. So yeah, someone is definitely... There might be a little bit of competition here. You might have multiple options. Now that this person has left you in the past, you've had other people come towards you. And so when they come back to you, they know that they're going to have to compete for your love. You're not just going to take them back right away. But hey, that's kind of attractive too, right? We have the Nine of Cups, so this person... They're wishing for you. They're manifesting you back. And you don't know this. This is going to take you by surprise. Okay, why is the Two of Swords the overall energy? Why is the Two of Swords the overall energy? I'm feeling that this is just... This is a major, pivotal turning point for the both of you in your lives. You either can decide to manifest this person back and forgive them, or both of you can go your own separate ways. So this is gonna be a huge decision for you guys. All right, we're gonna wrap this up with three romance angels here. Three romance angels, please, for the sign of Scorpio. Three romance angels. Wow, that came out fast. Okay, we have uh, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Okay, so I do see a lot of kings here. I don't know if that's you or the person you're dealing with has someone that they need to release. But there's too many people here. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership, okay? And chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. So spirit is giving you the go ahead to go after who you want, it sounds like. Okay, we have soulmate at the bottom of the deck. So someone here is your soulmate. Wow, very exciting. I hope it resonates. Please comment down below if it does. And you can also get a personal reading from me. The uh, information is in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.